Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today I'm going to show you why it's so much fun making levels in BuildBox 3, even though it crashes like a lot. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow my game dev process as I make games. This is the start to one of my levels. So far, I only have two and I'm kind of just getting started in. Buildbox 3 still crashes a lot. So when I'm developing and creating, I always have to save every time I literally do anything because the current build and build box is just notoriously unstable. Making levels is a lot of fun. Here I even have the word level, and this is something I made in Blender. And I created a cool subway platform, and even when you hit play, the characters will move around. And in the background, you can see the level that I created. So let's just go into that. This was a lot of fun, took time, and copy and paste is your best friend. In BuildBox 3, the copy and paste feature is probably one of the coolest features. It is still buggy and causes everything to crash. Here I was making each one box by box and then just copying them. And then later I went to just making these columns for the windows because six windows is easier than 36 windows. I also made this cool little light and I haven't figured out how to make this light show up when the character comes by but that is something I'll learn in time and then I wanted to have enemies that the character has to avoid and I've made these little sphere things with kind of like glasses and I would like to add particles behind them but that will come later essentially if one of these enemy objects runs into the character then the character will die you need to have more objects that causes the player to stop and go but right now I'm just talking about how much fun it was to build this level like even now I can take this copy, paste, move it down here, do something like this. That's just extremely easy. Now hopefully it doesn't crash, but you can see how something like this just takes a little bit of time. Now BuildBox does have a copy and paste feature that makes it super easy. However, it's still kind of being worked on. Like I should just be able to hit A and copy it like that. Oh, perfect. So that actually worked the way it was supposed to. If I sound surprised, it's because I am. Again, save it every step of the way. And even here, I made a cool little zoom in. I made a cool rooftop garden. Now, it's not lit up, and that's because the lighting effect is still kind of weird with BuildBox. You need to get the light, move it up and down, and you know, I don't know why it doesn't always show. Here you can see I made the trees. I created one tree, and then I just selected the whole tree, copied it, and pasted it. The copy and paste feature is still getting worked out, but as you see, I did it. I made multiple trees and a cool sculpture on top of everything. The next level, I'm trying to go with the contrast color theme. Here we go, and this is the other level. Let's see the beginning, so this is the start. And this one is more of a mountain level, whereas in the other level was more city. This is more mountains, and I'm trying to do some kind of depth to the snow taps up here. I don't know if it's working, but I'm, you know, just experimenting. My goal right now is to just have fun and make levels and making a 3D world. My biggest complaint is that it crashes all the time. That's okay because I'm saving all the time. The copy and paste still is kind of getting there. In time, I believe BuildBox will be able to figure it out. So these are the prices you pay to be an early adapter. If you're making a game in 3D, let me know your thoughts when you're making the levels. So if you want to follow along as I'm making a game, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm hoping to be finished sooner than later. And I will see you next time.